Now I'm joined here by Longford Town Manager Neil Fenn. Neil, you must be very disappointed to lose that game. I'm absolutely sick. Um, I thought we played very well in, in parts. I thought that we were the, the team in the second half most likely to to do something to score a goal. Um, we got back into it with, or got in front, sorry, with with a bit of luck, with an own goal, and then you're just thinking you're going to see it out. Um, we obviously knew we were going to withhold a little bit of pressure, but you know we, the defence has been great all season, and, and we can see two goals from two corners. Is it, was it just down to pure sloppiness? You know, we get a goal, we're ahead, we've only a few minutes left. Just what, what happened? Do you think? Um, well, the first corner, obviously, A was off getting a bit of treatment. Sam was was had been down, so he was struggling. So, you know, that's when you're looking for players to start organising themselves. You know, we can only shout on certain instructions. The lads have got to look after that themselves. They didn't. There's a free man at the far post. He taps it in. Um, the second one, we just don't defend it well enough. The, the, it's not a great delivery. It's not. A, it's not any special movement. It's not. They're not being clever. It's a ball put into the six-yard box, and the lad attacks it. We don't. Um, so it's two corners that have cost us the game and you know it's disappointing the fact that we never seem to get on the end of corners as well so um, you know as much as the players don't like doing it I think we're doing a lot more of it. Just aside from the, the craziness of the last 10 minutes the first half you know I thought from the time they scored until half time we were pretty much the team on top you know I think they had two chances at most in the first half being born got on the score sheet again for Longford you know he's popping up with a goal again but we just seem to be lacking that out and out poacher who can just grab the goals when we need them yeah I mean you know it's difficult there's, there's not many you know poachers there's not many poachers around and yeah. poachers have to be able to to build up play as well you know the days of someone just standing up front and just heading the ball in when it comes near him those days are gone you have to do a lot more for the team than that um, so yeah we maybe we're lacking a, a proven goal scorer up front but certainly that's not what happened here tonight I think the, the, the first half was pretty even um, they, they hit the bar towards the, I think it's towards the end of it so it's pretty even I'd say and in the second half I, I felt that we were the better team it was, it was coming I felt that we put a couple of good crosses in and, and the goal was coming I couldn't see them even though they're dangerous on the counter attack and got good players, I couldn't really see them how they were going to open us up. And then we give away a corner. Well, we didn't give away a corner. It was, you know, it was good defending from a get they get a corner, and and, and that's when you're looking to to withhold a little, withstand a little bit of pressure that you know is going to come any ground you go to, and you're two one up with five minutes to go. You're going to have to defend corners, um, and if you don't defend them, then you're going to lose matches. As you said, you know the second goal for Longford, it was it was a bit of luck which we, we were shy of this season, but then it just seemed luck deserted us in the end. Yeah, it was luck. Obviously, it was luck the goal, but I don't think I don't think it was luck. The reason we conceded two goals, it was a little bit of naivety, a little bit of a little bit of tiredness, definitely a little bit of tiredness, and a little, just a little bit of, again, you know, you're looking at you're looking for your older players and you're looking for experienced players to, to organise it, because there's some young lads there as well who haven't played at this level and haven't played in you know in this position before where you're you're, you're protecting the lead against a good team, so you're looking for people to to take control of it and. And you know, and and for the young lads to listen as well, and, and and we just didn't, we just didn't defend it. And if you boiled, if you put, took the games up to 88 minutes, then you know we deserve to win. And they've they've, took, they've scored two corners, and and um, but they'll be they'll be they'll be saying they shouldn't have been behind, you know, for the through the own goal. So you know, we were happy to go two one up, but we just had to see it out, and we couldn't do it. Obviously, you know, this result will leave a sickening taste in the mouth, but there were a few positives to take. I thought Ed Irvin's performance tonight was incredible. You know, he was flying into tackles, Connor Kenners as well, uh, and Shane Elwardy. I thought it was a lot of good performances. I thought we played well. There's, you know, as much as as much as you can, we can go in there and rant and rave at them. It's pretty obvious what's happened. That we played well against a, a team that's title contenders. We've come here. We've had most of the ball. We've created most of the chances, and we've got done from two set pieces in in, in, in injury time. So it's pretty. That's pretty. Sums up the whole game really. Um, and we just have to get better at that. You know, the rest of the game was okay. Um, but we just need to, you know, if you, if, you, if you're only two one up, you need to defend. You know that, that's that's just an obvious thing. Everyone knows that you need to defend corners and get organised at corners, and, and and we weren't. We have a bit of a break now, you know. So some of the players will go away. I don't know if they're travelling abroad or whatever for a week, and they, they'll recover and relax, and they'll have a think about. But obviously, you'll be working away in the background for the next two weeks, working on what's going on and, and how to improve the team during the break. Yeah, we're always looking to improve it. So you know, little bits and pieces that we do, we're always looking to improve stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard to go away now for two weeks after that because. You know, you play, we played well. 
you know there's no there's no denying that I think everybody in the ground could see that it's just it's just the two corners at the end so you know we're not going to be too down about it, it, it it's not it's not a crisis you know it's just we didn't defend two corners well enough and, and we lost the game but we'll be back and I'm sure that once the boys have had a rest and we we possibly bring in a couple of new faces in July um, we'll be back firing again just in terms of squad I know Sam went off with a bit of a knock tonight is will he be okay or is it just too early to assess I don't know to be honest I, I haven't really assessed it he wasn't it was, didn't look too serious to me yeah um, but I think he, I don't know I'll, it'd be it'd be wrong for me to say I don't know um, obviously Paul is out with with a, a cheekbone injury um, and you know I think that's probably it there's a couple of little niggles that you get after a game but it, it will give us a chance now to have a little a little week off um, a little break and then we'll, we'll see the boys the following season.